What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are about to do my favorite and I think your favorite video of the month. We are about to do the roster reveal for April. Before we get into that, as you can see, I'm in my uniform. I am about to head to Cairo on a turnaround. It is five minutes to six in the evening. I'll be back at six in the morning tomorrow. It's gonna be a long night. I've rested okay. Let's go to Cairo and then let's hope that the rosters are out. Guys, just got home now. 10 minutes to 7 in the morning. Flight went really well. Um, I think I rested really well before the flight, so I didn't really manage or battle to stay awake. Uh, bad news. Rosters are still not out, man. I don't know what's going on. I think it's. I'm so so anxious because the last few months. Um, sorry, I'm whispering because Priya is sleeping. But the last few months have been on a roll, you know, getting a good roster. So I just want to know where I'm going next month. But uh, yeah, the wait continues. I will catch you guys when it finally gets here. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, guys, the rosters are out. Let's take a peek at what we have for the month of. April! Okay, so I'm just logging in now. They said it was only supposed to come tomorrow, but... Lucky ass, it's out a day early. Let us, let us get into it. So, my next flight is New York. That's still in the month of March. Let us push through till... April. And here... Okay. So I've only seen the 1st of April. And it starts off with... Reserve. Are you joking? Do I get reserve for the whole of April? Reserve. Yeah, what's the use? I don't understand why I would get reserve. I mean, I, I do know why I get reserve, but I mean, what's the difference between a reserve roster and a, ros and a normal roster? Because nowadays... I think now you'll be more on standby. Maybe I'll get more standbys, because nowadays we get lots of can use, right? And can use is a possible standby. Now a reserve is also a possible standby. So nothing really changes except the fact that at least if I was on a normal roster, I'd have specific flights given to me. Well, that sucks. That was quick. That was quick. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, uh, shit. That's disappointing. Okay, dokes. Let's look at Vishal's roster because he's the one that told me. At least get some sort of excitement in this. Um, March, April. He has Los Angeles, Istanbul, SEP, Milan, not bad. Sedi's roster. Sedi's roster is not loading. Uh, no, Sedi's roster is not loading. Okay, oh, whatever. That doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, guys, month of April, I have a reserve. Technically speaking, we should be getting our reserve once every seven months. As far as you know, and as far as I remember, I actually didn't have my reserve seven months ago. So it's not a very strict rule, but if you want to call it kind of a guideline, every seven months you should be getting it. And, I mean, obviously there was a lot of disruption last year with the rosters, with the flying. So I managed to skip it, but this year we got it. Um, how reserve works is you have two types of reserve. You have a home standby and you have a airport standby. So a home standby means that they'll give you a slot the day before and they'll say to you, Kyle, from 6 a.m. till 12 midday, you are going to be on standby. So I'll be relaxing at home, doing whatever I want to do. And as soon as they give me a call, they'll say, okay, Kyle, we've actually need you on a flight to Lagos. I get changed, pack my suitcase, I go to work. The second standby would be an airport standby, which technically is not at the airport. It's actually at headquarters. That's where we wait. So I will pack my suitcase. They'll tell me, Kyle, your airport standby is from 2 o'clock in the afternoon till 6 in the evening. Pack my suitcase, but when and put my uniform on and go to headquarters and wait there for the four-hour duration. But the thing is, I'll, I'll have to pack my suitcase according to 
every possible scenario, whether it be a short 24 hour layover, a seven day trip, winter month, season, uh, um, summer month, because obviously I don't know where I'm going. And maybe I might not even get a layover, I might get a turnaround. So obviously I prefer having a home standby because I'm in the comfort of my own home. Um, and I kind of can plan in a way of where I'm going to go or how I'm going to pack my suitcase. But right now I'll just take anything. I don't really mind. I just want to get a few flights so I can get a few hours because we are paid on a basic salary as well as a flying pay. So every hour that we fly, we get paid on that. So I kind of need that. Um, yeah, sitting by the phone and just waiting. Now, sometimes it gets tricky because your standby, for example, might start at three o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock in the morning. But three o'clock in the morning, I'm sleeping. So you've got to sleep a little bit earlier to catch, to get some sleep, get some rest before your standby, because in case they call you out straight away, then you're not going to have any sleep. Or they might call you out really, really, really late, like say at eight o'clock in the morning. And you just got to hope that you slept all the way through. So it gets a bit tricky sometimes, but eventually you just get the hang of it and you know how to prepare. My problem is I'm not a very um, patient person during reserve, my reserve month. I'll be checking my, my app, the, the app that they, we have on our phones with regards to our rosters. I'll be checking that constantly, 24 hours a day, checking, do I have a change? Do I have a change? Do I have a change? Because that cha changes first on your app and then they'll eventually phone you and tell you. So I don't really get much rest mentally um, during my reserve month, but we'll see how it goes. Sometimes your reserve months are your best months and you have the most amazing flights. Hopefully I will get something good. There are a lot of destinations that are opening up. Uh, South Africa just opened up again now, flights to Johannesburg. Uh, I know they are opening up a few destinations to the US. The UK, I believe, starts. No, it doesn't start yet. I think it starts in May. But maybe get a cargo flight, nice cargo flight. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I've got New York, like I said, in two days' time. So let's see what I get up to in those two days. The most fun I've had in two days is just going for a haircut. I have done pretty much nothing for the last uh, few days. Just uh, done my normal walks at the park and um, a bit of reading. That's about it, guys. It has been very uneventful. Um, I think this video has been very uneventful, actually, just because of the anticlimax with regards to the roster. I think I'm still reading from it. I'm just like, ugh reserve anyway like i said maybe we'll get something good and i'll have something decent to vlog about i am heading to new york tomorrow so while you're watching this video i will be in new york eating some good food if you're looking forward to that video make sure you stay tuned that'll be next week's video if you did like this video at least give me a thumbs up guys if you feel sorry for me because i got reserved next month give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys soon